okay so in this video we will connect our database with our application so for that open up your browser and search for firebase console and if we open this firebase console right here click on this create a project so right here we will name it as flutter so the project name will be flutter crud click on this i accept then continue disable this and now click on this create project now it will take a minute to create our project so just wait for it so as you can see our project is created click on this continue now click on this build then uh, file store database now click on this create database and select this one start in test mode click next click on this enable so now if we click on this gear icon and then project settings now click on this android icon right here we will add our android package name so now if we open up our android studio then open up this android folder then this app folder and then this build.gradle file and if you scroll down we need to copy this and paste it right here and then click on this register app now click on this next so we need to copy this line so copy it minimize this app and inside this android app as you can see we have this build.gradle file so right here inside this dependencies we will paste it now if we go back so now we will copy this line which is com.google.jms.google services so copy it and now if we close this file and close this and inside this app folder if we open up this build.gradle and if we scroll down right here we will paste this now if we go back again and click on this next and then we will click on this continue to console and as you can see this is our app so now we need to download this google services.json file so click on it and as you can see it is start downloading so i if i click on this show in folder and we will cut this file from here and go back to the android studio so inside this app folder we will paste that file click ok and this is our google.json file so our project is successfully connected to our database so now if we store any data it will store inside this file store database right here